How's it going guys and welcome to day 4 and um, this is the 4th episode of my 31 days of Halloween marathon. Today I will be reviewing a movie for you and this film is called Mr. Hush. Another movie you probably haven't heard about. Um, now at first I was kind of unsure if I should review this or not because um, you know it's Halloween season. It's my favorite time of the year and um, I'm reviewing all these great horror Halloween movie for Halloween movies for you guys. I can't even talk right now. And um, I just figured, you know, I can't really review a movie that's bad for you guys, because since this is like a, like a happy, kind of, not happy, but you know, I'm trying to like brighten the mood up, but this movie, I kind of, I kind of want to review for you anyways, even though it's not very good. But um, yeah, the movie's called Mr. Hush, you've probably never heard of it before, I would not be surprised if you haven't. Alright, it's been a long time since I've seen this movie, so just bear with me here. You're probably never going to watch it ever, and you probably won't even care about this, so um, I'm just going to get this over with. But uh, Mr. Hush is about this family man, and um, this man, he has like a, a family, a, like, he has like a daughter and a wife. And um, something happens on Halloween night where somebody kind of just like breaks into his house and kills off his family. And then it fast forwards 10 years later where he's working with his friend at a restaurant and um, the man who killed his family off 10 years ago, his name is Mr. Hush, which is the title of the film. And he has like a little, uh, like a little Igor, I want to call him. I'm trying to think of a name besides like a little sidekick, trying to be more traditional. So I'm going to call him like a little Igor um, named Stark. And um, Stark is played by Stephen Jeffries, who I've actually met before at a... A uh, convention called Monster Palooza. I've met him before. He's a very nice guy, but um, this movie's not very good, and I gotta say, just it's not very good. And then, as you can predict, uh, Mr. Hush and his Igor Stark um, begin to haunt him again, and um, you know, it's just it's kind of like those kind of stories where, like, you know, like they were traumatized by something that happened years ago, and it's finally coming back to haunt them again. Mr. Hush sucks it's it's not very good i do not suggest you guys to watch this movie and this is why i don't want to rant movies for you guys at this time of the year especially because halloween's my favorite time of the year i'm trying to review good whole halloween movies for you guys but um this one i suggest you guys stay away from it's not very good everything about it is so bad though like the 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 script the acting the acting is horrible <laughs> i the acting's horrible. Um, the, I mean, the story, it's very cliché, done before, very predictable. Um, you know, there just really isn't anything great about this movie. You could tell they did, like, the last five minutes, like, like right at the last minute, because it really sucks. Like, the ending sucks. Everything about this movie sucks. Now, the poster, though, looks pretty cool. I'm gonna admit right now, the poster's awesome. I like it like the hooded figure and he has like a cane and like a hat you don't see his face I like the title Mr. Hush it's an awesome title but the movie overall just is not very good and I do not suggest this movie to you guys I do gotta say however maybe the f first 15 minutes um the first 15 minutes of the movie are probably my favorite part of the movie um I actually kinda liked the very beginning of the movie I don't know why I knew it was very bad and over the top and it just it's not very good, but I don't know. I just, like, the first 15 minutes reminded me a lot like Halloween. It had, like, this feeling to it. I guess it was, like, the music that kind of made me feel, like, into the Halloween spirit. That kind of made me like the very beginning of this movie, but the rest just kind of sucks. So, don't watch it. The movie tries so hard to be entertaining and just, like, flat-out serious that it's just all very laughable. And it's just not very good. It's really not worth your time. I do not suggest you guys to go see this movie. I'm gonna give this film one and a half pumpkins out of five. It's it's that bad. I would stay away from this movie as much as possible, guys. Please do not check this movie out. And that is it. I apologize for doing this rant on this very special Halloween marathon. I don't mean to bring the mood down for you guys, but um, this is a movie that I kind of had to, you know, get off my back and just review for you so I would just get it over with. But now that it's over with, um, don't see this movie. Um... Thank you guys for watching this review. Do not forget to check out my other reviews. I will guys I will see you guys tomorrow and um that's it. Have a great day.